fire department said it was a gas leak, but no way. That was time. They didn't want to kill us, but they wanted to scare us. Oh, yeah, well, they succeeded, OK? I'm tired of this, right? I'm tired of explosions and people pointing guns at me. I want to go back to my desk. Guess what? Life gets loud sometimes and messes with your ears. You can't escape it by hiding at your desk for your whole life. You know what? Yes, you can. I've done it for years, OK? There's no explosions at my desk. There's no explosions at, at my home with my plain wife in my plain house. What are you afraid of, man? I'm your partner. You can tell me. What the hell are you hiding from? I was a sophomore in college. The university I went to decided they needed to raise tuition. A classmate of mine, Brenda, in an effort to raise money and, and stay in school, came up with a nifty plan where she, she thought she'd date guys and, and charge them money. I go on dates all the time with a whole bunch of, you know, boys and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I kind of need somebody to help me out, like, you know, my partner in crime. Yeah, I could make a, I could make a schedule. Yeah, 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 that's what I was thinking. Provide transportation services. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a good time. Thanks so much for asking. She said she needed my help to make sure that the dates went okay and that the, the guys paid her. She said she'd give me a percentage. Oh my God, you were a pimp. What? God, no. No, I was just trying to help a friend. But we started making a lot of money. And wouldn't you know it, some of Brenda's girlfriends decided they wanted to be a part of it. Pretty soon, there were about 14 ladies that I was protecting while they gave me money. That's called the stable of whores. We decided I shouldn't use my real name. So we came up with the name Gator. I'm telling you, you were a pimp. No. Are you even listening to the story? Anyway, one day I wake up and I look in the mirror and I don't like what I see. I mean, I, I had gotten out of control and I, I didn't even realize it. You can't have a conscience in the pimp game. One night, two of my favorite girls, Candy and Jolene, said, we got to take you in. They dropped me off at the emergency room. That's where I met Sheila. I was a mess. I made a promise to myself and to her that I would never get out of control again. So as soon as I graduated from college, I became an accountant for the police department. The most stable job I could think of. An accountant for law and order. I just don't want to ever feel out of control like that ever again. Don't worry. I got your back. Now I say we go get Nurse Sean's grill and see if he cracks. I'm tired of all this tippy-toeing around. Okay. 